Okay, this is acting lesson number five for real life. Um, and well, I don't know. You know, if you're giving nothing to your to your everything, then you know, garbage in, garbage out. I know. So wherever you are, you know, if you've pushed your characters beyond their limits and, you know, basically made them all fall down and nobody's there to pick them up, well, you've got broken actors on a broken set in a broken movie and there's no relationships because, you know, there's no goal. In the end, if, if you prevent your participants from from the goal which is a winning movie reality movie and you never allow them to get there because you keep throwing roadblocks in front of them sorry it's it's not a thriller it's not a drama it's not a comedy i don't know there's nothing else to call it but you know nothing it's a nothing movie and you've created a nothing, 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 nothing. And, you know, maybe it calibrates at 800 or 850 on your scale of consciousness. No, it doesn't. This one doesn't even calibrate at that. Somebody says, oh, it's a void. That's 850, Dr. Hawkins. Uh, it's such a side light and speculation. It's not. It, it's not. Sorry. It, it, it's, you know, this, this movie doesn't even make it to one on the scale of consciousness, which is the consciousness of an amoeba. Amoeba could do a better job. Okay, so this one doesn't rate, and this reality box that you've got me in and everyone else in, um, well, I've already said it's a fail, and this is why. It's because you're, you're not going anywhere. You can't go anywhere because you've got everything tied down. It's like Gulliver and Gulliver Travels. I mean, at least Gulliver was strong enough to somehow get away from the Lilliputians, but you've got... Gulliver with no way of getting away from it. You know, it's like that Aliens movie where some spider-like thing had taken all the humans and had had wrapped them in cocoons, but, you know, there was no other humans or anything else that would come and rescue them, so they're just waiting around to be eaten. And the spider never gets around to eating them, even. So it's just like, it's dead air, you know? It's like the worst thing on radio is dead air. Nothing's happening. And, you know, so... From the perspective of a movie producer, would I employ you again? No, well, maybe it's because I'm not paying you or something. Well, I mean, Bob Frizzell is a fake alter ego of mine. You know, really, you expect me to go and, and, and start paying actors or something? You know, I buy people beers or something once in a while. But it, it doesn't make your, your actors that I'm buying beers do anything good for my movie. They're lousy actors. They don't do anything with the, you know, I give them money and, hello, you know, I don't get any, I don't get anything for my money that I do throw out there. So why am I going to go throw more money at it? You know, just tax it all away or something. It's poor. Everything is poor and, you know, people wonder, well, I mean, just go meditate in the corner or something and don't talk to anybody. Well, I talked about that in the previous acting le lecture. It's, it's, what's the point of being in a physical incarnation if you can't have a physical experience? You know, they used to say, well, you're a spirit having a human experience. I'm sorry, no one's having a human experience around me. Uh, no, it's not human. It's, you know, it's not even paper mache. It's just, it's, it's like trying to eat cardboard. That, that's what you've been given. You've been given cardboard to eat. And there's no end in sight, you know. So, I mean, if I'm your viewer, uh, I'm sick of all this same you know, white glue on cardboard for me to eat. It's beyond tasteless and bland. So, I mean, that's what I'm being given is just, you know, a negative critique on it. What would we need differently? Well... Mm, you got to give your character um, something interesting to do other than to lie around all day waiting to go in the car and drive around a thousand times. 
and look at license plates, you know, or go and have lunch and watch. This is not living. This is not living. This is not, and you know, the advertisements for, for overpriced condominiums that your actor cannot buy and, you know, seeing a bunch of drug addled people and or drunk people all the time. And, you know, like, supposed to make a relationship out of that. No, it doesn't work. I'm sorry. And, you know, no one drives around and even a Lamborghini that I can knock on their window and say, excuse me, sir, you know, you want me to go and be your personal man Friday or something? Nothing comes. Nothing comes. It's such a dead zone. It's such a dead zone. So living here in the dead zone and then the negative news comes through either the television or it comes through the phone you know, and then constant promises of help from extraterrestrials and aliens. It's so tired. It's tired, trite, and hackneyed, and it never comes. So, you know, you haven't advanced the plot. And just going back and referring to it over and over again, or, you know, giving me somebody from New Jersey to talk to all night that I'm not interested in, you know, and is a lousy actor, and nothing but lousy actors everywhere, uh, I don't know what else you want me to say. I mean, this is your critique, and you're giving me this to say to you. So, mm -hmm. if I'm your mirror, against again, I'm telling you, whatever you're doing, everything is wrong. I hope I've delivered you the script that you've given me properly, because that's what I've done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Rumpelstiltskin, if I'm said he to she, I'm a useless character to fight you because you've given me nothing. That was Pindar, I think, actually. You've given me nothing to fight you with. So, you know, you know, you want to create an anti, an anti rumple stilt skin and, you know, you create something that can't beat you. And you want to have an exciting movie? It's dull. It's so dull. You know, let's watch the my opponent go around his boring life and, you know, take his mind away so that he can't even try and figure it out. He can't figure it out because he doesn't have anything. No tools, no mind, no help, no friends, nothing. It's a nothing, lousy, lousy virtual reality simulation. And, you know, Rumpelstiltskin says, well, I was cursed with this or something. I don't know. You got to go and figure it out, Rumpelstiltskin, because I can't help you. And, you know, I'm very sorry because, you know, I've got to put up with your waste of time and waste of space. <laughs>